I know this is uh, rather hard to see, but if you look at the dead center of this uh, square cube magnet, you will see a circular ring of light, and in the center of that, it's uh, black. It's very black. It's even blacker than the rest of the entire face of the magnet. It's a really beautiful holographic projection if you could actually get down on the side, but if I did that, you'd be blinded by this light. You could still kind of see it there. But there is a uh, holographic bead, holographic sphere, at the dead center of this quote-unquote pole on the magnet, as illumined by this uh, continuous fiber optic ring light, which no one has ever used, a continuous uninterrupted fiber optic on a ferro cell before. But what you're actually seeing here is a point of centripetal convergence. The center of the sphere is completely black. You can actually see that even as I'm able to crudely uh, show you on the uh, the video camera here, on the camera here, that's where the light is actually disappearing at the point of centripetal convergence. The reason why there's light surrounding this uh, sphere over top of the magnet, that is the weak point of uh, centrifugal divergence at the uh, center of the pole of this magnet. I wish you could actually see it. If I actually tilt over here, you'd be blinded by the light, but you'll still barely make out a ball of uh, light hovering above the very dead center of this magnet and that is the point of a uh, centripetal convergence and as uh, you uh, go towards the edge of the magnet is where the point of centrifugal divergence occurs where light is actually cast away you actually have constructive and destructive interference but you have uh, absolute complete, complete and total loss of the light at the dead center of the magnet but it occurs as a uh, as a null point or a uh, line of demarcation, a, a uh, event horizon right at the center of the magnet and it manifests itself as a uh, sphere, a sphere of light of which you can see into the center of which, which is completely black. I said once again, if you actually look at the center of the sphere, you'll see it's blacker than the entire rest of the face of the top of the magnet. And there's a very logical reason for that. Everything is pressure mediation, centrifugal divergence, centripetal convergence. Everything is force and motion, inertia and acceleration. I mean, light is a coaxial electrical circuit with transverse electrical, magnetic, and longitudinal pulse perturbation dielectric. So explaining how light behaves over top of an extremely strong coherent field, that which defines a magnet by definition, is hyperlogical, but something no one else has thought to think of before. And I do mean that literally. I own every book on magnetism ever written. So, I thought I'd show that to you. No one has ever seen this before. And this is using continuous fiber optic uninterrupted lighting. Just as illuminated by a powerful uh, flashlight. There, That uh, silver tube is the uh, fiber optic. This is glass fiber optics. This is used for uh, medical illumination. And the magnet jumped to it. Medical uses uh, in microscopes, sort of uh, ring lighting. But there's no batteries in here. There's nothing in here. It's just fiber optic. It's completely fed by this flashlight over here, as you can see. So I'm just flickering the flashlight in front of the fiber optic. Thanks so much for watching. And like I said, no one has ever seen this before, so you've seen something that no one else on Earth has ever seen before. Thanks. Bye.